Hi guys, I'm here to tell you a story about what happened to my M10 and hopefully we're going to fix it. Um, I love shooting with Leica cameras. I've had the M8, the M9, the M6, M7, I like to do analog photography then, uh, the M240 and now the M10 and I really love this camera. But when I came back from vacation, I noticed there was a little hair on the sensor. So a little dark spot on the pictures. And I thought, okay, no problem. I will get it out. And the normal way that I get it out is not with a, a blow thingy, but I prefer to use a kind of vacuum cleaner system because what you normally have, if you blow air around, then who knows where the dust will go? It will probably go somewhere else in the body, so it's better to suck it up. But what happened is that with the small tip of the vacuum cleaner, I touched the sensor and it left a little smudge. So I thought, okay, no problem. I still have this wet and dry sensor swaps. Um, and I'll just clean the sensor as I did before. So I opened up the sensor and very carefully started swabbing. And what happened is that this wet swab left a really strange, smudgy, oily residue on the sensor. And it started falling apart. And you can see here, even stuff is falling out. It kind of completely disintegrated. So I panicked and I was about to cry because my sensor was completely useless. It was super dirty. So I rushed to the shops here in Manila to see if I could find some new wet foam sensor swaps like this one. But none of the shops had this in stock. And there were no repair shops that could clean the sensor for me. So the next day, I went to the Leica showroom. Um, that's also here in Manila. And they had a look at the sensor. He said, it indeed looks like dirt on the sensor instead of scratches, luckily. Um, but they couldn't clean it. What they could do is send it in for repair. But... The repair center was in Singapore and at the moment, due to the pandemic, they weren't able to ship. I contacted the Singapore repair center. They said I could send it there directly, but the repair could take several months, up to half a year. So I thought I'll clean it myself. And as a side note, I really like the image quality of the Leicas. I like how it works to take pictures. I really love the rangefinder system. But what I absolutely don't like about the cameras is the service of Leica. They are so slow. I've had a couple of cameras and lenses in Germany when I was still living in the Netherlands. I sent them to Germany for repair. And even then, non-pandemic times, it often took about two to three months to get them back. So I was kind of hesitant and I was hoping that I could fix the dirt myself. So that's what I'm going to try today. What I did is I went on Lazada, which is an online shop like Ali, AliExpress, and I ordered new wet and dry sensor swaps. I couldn't get them anywhere else. I contacted the Australian sellers of these, but they did not reply. So yesterday I got this box from Lazada. I hope it's the correct ones. And I want to film what happened. So actually the sensor is still dirty in there. I mounted my phone here so you can have a look at how it's going. I've been running the air purifier the whole day in this room, so there is hopefully a little dust flying around, although I see some dust there. So let's try, let's have a look. Let's open this up.
And these were not cheap. I specifically didn't want to buy any fake Chinese ones. So let's see what I've got. Eight pieces, dry and wet, center swap, full frame, twin one. And there's another box. Again, eight pieces. I thought I only ordered eight, but anyway, maybe not. All right, so I'll try to, to use them. Let's see what's in the box. Um, Uh -huh. This says dry. This says wet. So these two I will need. There is a manual, so let's have a look. I'm afraid it will be all in Chinese. It's not. It's even English. Let's see. So one, turn the camera mode to the shutter sensor cleaning option. Press the shutter. Uh-huh. Clean with the wet one. And then afterwards clean with the dry one. Wet one direction, dry the other direction. Matters that need attention. Please make sure the camera's on sensor cleaning. Camera with anti-shake, please use caution. Luckily, this one doesn't have anti-shake. Please avoid too much pressure. Luckily, I didn't press very hard when the whole thing disintegrated. Please make the swap away from heat. Avoid burning. Okay, it's pretty hot here in the Philippines, but I, I don't think that's what they mean. Please do not use a swap under the extreme low temperature. So it's not extremely low temperature. I don't think they're frozen. It's about 30 degrees Celsius here. Um, so let's have a look. So... The kids are going crazy with the online schooling. What I have is this visible dust sensor loop. It's, it's like a magnifying glass. And the nice thing here is that you can turn on that little light, have a look at your sensor. So we're going to use this to have a look at the sensor. And I'll turn on the camera here. And then you could probably immediately understand why I almost started crying. Um, so let's not have it in slow-mo. Let's have a video. So if I put this here, we should be able to see. Okay, let's record this. So it's recording. So first thing you do um, is to put the sensor in sensor cleaning mode. Open the shutter. Let's inspect the sensor. Okay. So it's open. Our position is here. So hopefully you guys can see. And I'll put the sensor loop directly on there. And you can probably see the smudges and dirt there. Put this guy away safely. It's an expensive lens. I love it. The 35 millimeter F1.4 aspherical two lens. It's amazing. Love this lens. It's on my camera maybe 99% of the time. All right, let's have a look. Oh, 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 that looks bad, guys. Good. Put the knife away. I don't want any sharp objects close to the sensor. All right, there we go. 
My heart's pounding, guys. Okay. Very carefully. Oh, it's getting so clean. I'll do this again. Oh, still one spot. There is still one spot there. Okay, I'm going to leave it. Okay, that already looks so much better. Okay, that looks pretty useful. Not too much pressure. Okay, how's it? Still some stripes. You know, since I have so many of these, I will use another one. Another wet swab. Go ahead. Okay. How's that? That looks good. Okay. All right. Okay, now it's time for the dry one. Oh, I feel happy, guys. Swab. Carefully swab this over the sensor, and that's actually it. Don't want to do any more. Okay. Good. Going to turn the camera off. This looks clean, no dust there. I don't think I'll be doing any sensor cleaning in the future anymore. Put this guy back on. Oh, this is a bit dusty. This I can blow away. That's good. Okay, let's turn it back on. And all the way to 16. That's I see the ISO is on auto. I actually hardly ever use the ISO on auto. Put this on 200, take the picture. It's not overexposed, otherwise it would be blinking. No dust. Mm, let's see if I take a picture of this black thing. And doesn't have to be sharp. Long exposure. And that looks pretty clean as well. Ah, I'm happy that worked out. So, lessons to take away. These things do have an expiration date. Even though they don't print them anywhere, I'm going to write the date that I bought these on the package. I'm going to throw these away. This vacuum cleaner system, <laughs> this vacuum cleaner I will I will only use for the outside of a camera. I will not use it anymore for cleaning the sensor. Alright. Thanks for watching guys. 
I'm so happy that the camera's fixed again. I can go out, take some cool pictures. Please check them out. My website is bramplatel.nl.nl. I'll put the link there. And I actually don't hope to see you next time. I hope this was a one-time thing. Thanks for watching.